the first milestone starts to this 50 game, what does it mean to you? Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, it took a little while, a bit longer than others, but um, of course there's others that have taken longer, but um, yeah, it's nice to finally get there and hopefully there's still plenty more to come. You did have a slow first couple of years at the club. Did you ever doubt um, you know, your ability at the top level by lack of opportunity, I guess? Uh, no, I think... Uh, for me, it was just sort of finding some consistency with my footy early on. Um, it was battling a few little niggles in that early on, but I always had the backing of, uh, you know, Fags and, and all the other coaches. They always put a lot of belief in me and, and, and um, trusted me, so I knew if I could give myself a decent run at it, I'd go all right. And the move to defence, like, not everyone gets to play with that, where they were drafted, and you are certainly in that category. Like, what was it like initially to... I guess be asked to play in the back line and how do you embrace it? Uh, yeah, so it was a bit different. Um, I've done it uh, across uh, junior footy a little bit um, in state academies and stuff, so it wasn't totally new, but um, yeah, sort of I looked forward to it and I think, say luckily, but uh, as soon as I did the move, I, I did my hamstring, so I was out for a couple of months, so that gave me time to learn um, learn the uh, system a lot better back there and, um, you know, bounce off of guys like Richie and, and Harris um, during those times so when I sort of came back to playing footy I was sort of uh, in playing back on I was sort of all over it. They the guys that helped you the most to settle in? Uh, yeah and um, probably Ryan Lester as well um, so he was sort of in and out uh, in the Neefels so I uh, sort of leaned on him and took you know a lot of learnings from his game as well when I was playing with him back there. It's such a good group Who's the one that sticks out and helped you the most in that sort of transition to become a defender that's you know in the team now in the back six? Uh, yeah, well, there's been a few. I think the back six sort of gets um, sort of gets we sort of our own little click, I guess, a little bit. We sort of you know we have our own meetings and then you know the mids and the forwards all go and they do their meetings together. So um, it's sort of can't really point point to one one or two blokes, but um, sort of been the whole group. Um, they sort of you learn off each other. Um, and everyone's sort of good at dragging each other along. So, you know, Ryan Lester, Darcy Gardner, sort of drawn off him because um, he's played on a lot of those, um, you know, dangerous forwards over his career as well. So, try to pick his brain and then um, Noah Answorth as well. So, uh, there's been, yeah, can't single out any one person. What sort of satisfaction does it give you stopping the opposition team best forward? Uh, yeah, it feels pretty good. I think um, the fans probably don't want to see it. It's not the most glamorous role, but sort of take a lot of pride in um, in my in my role and, and um, shutting down yeah the best forwards. Do you ever see yourself um, maybe moving into the midfield one day? Is that what you would hope for, or do you, do you think you've got a home? Uh, I think found a home down back at the moment. Yeah, it's never I guess it's never off the cards, but um, yeah, pretty happy. Uh, I've cemented a spot back there for now. Yeah. Stars, what about you? The first couple of years, I reckon you've done two presses, three maybe, not many. You've flown under the radar and now all of a sudden David King last week says you're in his All-Australian side, like you're not under the radar anymore. How are you coping with that? Uh, yes, yeah, it's a little bit weird. It's sort of still under the radar a little bit, not um, where I like to be, so I try and sort of hide myself away a little bit. But um, no, nah, it's the extra attentions. Um, yeah, you sort of notice it a little bit and um, you know you go out there on game day and, and, and I guess you're not a surprise anymore to anyone else so um, you got to figure out new tricks so um, yeah no the extra attention is, is there but you sort of try to you know palm it off and just stick to what I've been doing it's what's worked uh, over the last couple of years. Just to follow up on that like I heard a grab someone of the commentators you know the unsung hero of the team you like being unsung and unheralded by the sounds of it. Is that fair to say? You don't like it. It's pretty obvious. You don't yeah. like the limelight one bit. Oh, yeah, try to stay out of line. Leave that to Charlie and, and Mitch. Those guys can, can laugh it up all they want. Um, but, yeah, pretty happy just to yeah, fly under the radar. But what about, you know, when you hear stuff like all Australian, it must be personally satisfying to know that you're doing it. You're going all right. Yeah, I guess it's a nice recognition, um, especially, yeah, from the outside world, from, uh, you know, guys that have played the game before. But, yeah. Um, yeah, it's sort of nice to hear it, but yeah, it sort of doesn't change much from my end. But it's considering the recalibration that you've had to go through, it's not a bad little achievement for yourself to, to achieve this sort of notoriety. It hasn't happened, I know, but like it's, you're in the conversation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, sort of surprising a little bit. You sort of, you never really expect, um, you know, a lockdown defender to sort of get that recognition, but um, yeah, I'll take it. It's good. You've clearly got the defensive side of your game sorted. 
are you trying to develop that attacking side or is Fags and the coaching group just happy to stay as a lockdown and then take care of that first? Uh, well, yeah, I guess um, well, the offensive side of the game sort of um, helps with the defence as well. We sort of test drop by going the other way, so it's definitely something I've tried. I've tried to work on um, over the last couple of years and, and try to get involved more because that's, uh, you know, hurts your opposition too. So uh, when I can lock them down and then get busy on the other end. So, um, yeah, it's always been a bit of a focus to try and improve that area. Do you like the contact? Do you really like that part of the game? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's played my, or, yeah, most junior footy as, as, a, as a mid, inside mid. So as much as I can, love to, you know, rough it up and hit some bodies, yeah. Been a little bit of trouble, and, you know, you've been in over the last couple of seasons. But What's that? You've been in a little bit of trouble, you know, oh. some, of the, some of your knocks, yeah? Oh, yeah, oh, not really, no. I sort of try to protect myself a little bit, but um, you know, every now and then you pull up a bit sore in that, but, yeah. Who's the toughest four you've had in your first 50? Uh, geez. Tell you what, uh, Cody Waitman's a bit of a, he's a bit of a bean of bottles, sort of thing. He buzzes around and you know, one minute he's here and the next he's behind you, so he's annoying in that sense is that you can't really keep an eye on him, but um, yeah, the guy's like, you yeah, know, Dusty of course, and, and um, uh, yeah, Dusty and, and Petraka when he, when he floats forward, those guys are um, pretty hard to play on. Sounds like those blokes who do get all the raps, you nothing lo you love nothing better than knocking them down a peg or two, is that what you enjoy as well, some of the big names? <laughs> yeah, I guess sort of, you can stick them up on the wall and, and tick their name off, I guess, and put a cross. Yeah, so, that's yeah, nice. Have you got a list nah, of nah, people? Nah, 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 that was just a figure of speech. No, yeah. I don't actually do that. But it's serious though, yeah, you, you really, you know, you, you hate being beaten by the sounds of all Yeah, pretty competitive guy, so, um, I guess that's uh, sort of what I build my game off, um, loving the contest, so, um, and then, you know, um, yeah, just building from there, just love the one-on-one -on -one stuff and, and sort of gets the boys up, no, you know, especially you see Harris come over and, and do a big kill, big swallow over the line in a one-on-one, -on -one, that sort of gets the boys up and about, so, um, yeah, just those little ways that you can sort of get yourself involved in the game, um, down back, it's not always pretty stuff, but um, it's, yeah, recognised um, you know, downstairs in the four walls.